So y'all are probably wondering what does setting boundaries have to do with eating and our food choices. And I'm gonna tell you that I've been thinking about this and studying this for a long time with my own self, okay? Eating is very emotional, okay? It, a lot of times, whatever we do, not just food, but the way we move and all that, emotion is motion and motion is emotion, right? So when we get stuck in an emotion like anger, fear, regret, or uh, guilt, what's the other, what's the word, um, grief, things like that. Like when my grandma died, I got grief. And we do things differently sometimes when we're in an emotion and we don't stick to our habits, right? And we, some of us can have really good habits when it comes to eating, but then something will happen emotionally right before our meal or while we're eating and it can make us sick and it make us make bad food choices or eat more, you know? So for me, you know, eating, I don't like to eat around people because when I was younger, I was abused verbally and sometimes even physically at mealtime. So because of that reason, I became very overweight because I got greedy and I wanted to eat, um, like I wanted to eat all the time whenever certain people were not around that were abusing me because I felt safe in order to eat. And so now it's like every time I go to eat now, it's kind of a trigger because now that I'm sleeping outside for four and a half years now, that's been the hardest part is eating properly, which is why I never started talking about food before. But now is the, the best time that I need to step up, not only because my birthday, Thanksgiving and Christmas, all these holidays are coming up, which is the hardest time for me, but because uh, that was the worst time as a child, but also because I know that there's people out there that need me and forgive me for not stepping up sooner, you know? And so because I set boundaries earlier, I was talking about this earlier about how being bad feels good. And I'll explain what that means in a second too, because I didn't explain that in that episode. But I'm talking about this now because I need to let y'all know that I'm here for you. And I want you to know that you can do anything you want to do and that includes food choices. So I need to do it. Like I was embarrassed about it before. I couldn't do it before. And, and so when I set boundaries now, it kind of scares me and hurts me at first because people don't like it because they don't know how to set boundaries themselves. But, the, but there's a lot of people who don't, actually there's a lot of people actually that don't know how to set boundaries but they will respect you for it. And a boundary is something that you're, you're like, please don't cross this line, you tell the person, or you ask for needs too, there's another thing which is separate from boundaries kind of. But you know, it's just like, when, I'll give you an example. I told somebody once, please don't talk to me or approach me while I'm eating. Because like I said, it's, it's a trigger for me and I was abused verbally and physically as I was eating growing up as a kid and growing up all into my late 30s. Okay, but I told this person that they didn't like it, they got in my face and you know, verbally assaulted me and stuff and this person was actually on the clock getting paid for it. But you see, that is not my problem. You know, I set the boundary and I felt good about it. Uh, it was kind of hard being there with that, with that kind of crappy energy what the person had because they really hate themselves that much that they're willing to lose their jobs to approach me while I'm eating and I paid so much for the food. But, but I still, I took my food and I left and I finished it, you know, elsewhere. But earlier when I set the boundaries with, these, with this man, he respected me and admired me for it. Even though he didn't say so, I could tell in his uh, face and he was really cool. So I appreciate that about a lot of men are, are a lot easier to deal with when it comes to that. Cause I think I'm more like a, a man when it comes to having testosterone and working, being, you know, being an entre entrepreneur and understanding people and things like that. So when I said, this goes into uh, being bad feels so good because most people claim that you're a bad, they've been saying that a lot. People have been, I'm a bad person and all this kind of thing. And which is what I was also told as a child because I've been setting boundaries, you see. But you see, I'm worth it and I know you're worth it and I need to set that example for you and show you how to set boundaries. A boundary is not something that crosses somebody else's line. It is not something that insults someone. It's not you yelling at somebody or raising your voice. 
or being condescending. It is simply you saying, please don't do this. And that is something that you need to do because you are worth it and it's something good for your health, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, social, and financial. And the thing is, if I don't set boundaries, it makes me feel bad about myself and then I eat garbage. So that's why I'm telling you, you know, you get emotional and you, you don't get it out and do what you need to do. And that's why you're the same way as me and you do the same thing and eat poorly. So please don't do that. Set your boundaries. You are worth it. Thank you. Leap, leap, and the net with a pair. Speak, I overcame my fears. Leap, leap, and the net with a pair. Speak.